Uh, let me reintroduce myself. Yes. I'm Janae. I'm Les, and let's please welcome our featured co-host, <laughs> Fern. Hi, Fern. Hello. Everyone say hey for it's season okay, three. Hi, welcome, Hi. welcome. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thank you oh, for being here. Good. How was your summer? Summer was awesome. Yeah. Uh, One greatest thing that happened to you this summer? Um, 85th birthday for my great grandfather. Nice. All yeah. of the family went to Disney World. It was, nice. a, it was Lovely. a ball. Good nice. stuff. What about you, Janae? Oh, man, I went to the dam. The who? The dam. Uh, oh, the I went to Amsterdam this summer, nice. and I got to see the red light district. Did you now? Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that's and a conversation. I see why they call it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a conversation for district. off air. I don't think mm -hmm. we can have that conversation oh, it was now. It's so much fun. There's so many things to see. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Well, you know what? Like Fern, I had an opportunity to spend time with family. It was about 39 of us on our <gasps> carnival cruise. Nice. Fabulous. But here's the thing. It's a little bit bittersweet because we visited destinations like Turks and Caicos, mm. Puerto Rico, mm. St. Martin, St. Kitts. Oh. And if you all know the reason why I say bittersweet, yeah. right? Literally about three weeks before oh. Hurricane Irma came and devastated those islands. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's so, so you got to see it at its prime. Yeah. And now. Yeah. Like I'm standing there on the top deck taking these selfies with the mountain in the background. Oh. And it's just so, uh, it broke but my hey, heart. If I was on any of those islands, I would have definitely pulled Miss Johnson. I I'm think telling so. you, right? I think so. Is it too soon? No, no. Okay. I think I think we can all agree. Everybody probably would have done the flee to Canada yeah. if you could, because surely by now you must be out there familiar with the story of the Johnsons from New Providence, yeah. who somehow managed to. I, I do believe they they got a GoFundMe account. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's so. <gasps> but they're wow. so twenty first century, and I love it. <laughs> but, but to ladies, if it was a cat five coming to your your country. Yeah, With you wooden probably... homes, yeah, I think I will pull a Johnson. The thing is, do they live in a wooden home? Do we? No. <sighs> if they're in NASA, probably. I think, yeah. honestly, the biggest issue about the whole bit was the fact that Bahamians, us Bahamians, yeah. we yeah. raked them over the coals, y'all. Like, yeah. social media went yeah. to a whole other level. And I do believe that the sister of Mrs. Johnson herself, you know, expressed her disappointment to um, local media yeah in the way in which uh, Bahamians carried on. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the, the whole uh, issue was that they uh, used their life savings. Yeah, that's to, what the story said. To, yeah, I mean. I think, you know what I think it potatoes, is? potatoes, so what? They're in Canada and guess what? They got right. so much amenities up there that we don't have right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be I jealous. Think, I think maybe the biggest issue was just that, to me, the story just seems to have so many Twist. Holes and yeah. twists. We don't really know the truth. It really yeah. does. Yeah, so, what do you think about TV this show. new BPL deal, guys? Well, which deal are you talking about? The deal where so we are many, now right? discovering all of the money that was spent all on a of the former juiciness. CEO and all of these elite lists yes. as it's been deemed. Well, I'll tell you this much. Mm. You can put me on an elite list, honey. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Day. My application is in uh, mm -hmm. for CEO of BPL, yeah. and I would appreciate <laughs> if you all would vote for me on my GoFundMe page. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm that saying. Put me on the elite list, please. Let me rack up a $20,000 plus bill. Right. that I don't have to pay off mm -hmm. and no, but uh, pay me $25,000 yeah. a month, $6,000 in housing allowance. Yeah. I mean, I've heard it all before. I need to go to Miami too. Yeah. But to uh, to uh, I was reading a post from a very reputable person on Facebook mm -hmm. and basically says that Power Secure was the one that uh, negotiated the deal with oh. the CEO of BPL. Wow. And at the end of the day, they in the contract, BPL had to honor the negotiations and the deals that Power Secure, which is a U.S. company, oh, I gotcha. had put together on behalf of BPL. So they adopted this bill, but, uh, you know, Bahamians, of course, the Bahamian executives did not have, um, you know, have a hand in that because right. they were directly working with BPL and mm. not Power Secure. Mm. That's well, my understanding. That's fine. I still want to be on that special list, okay? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have a really good show for you today. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. But we're going to take a quick break. So, after this, 
We will see you on the other side yeah. because we have two amazing guests in-house and a special performance a little later on in the show. Yes. So don't you go anywhere. You are watching season three of The That's Stew. <laughs> Continuing our conversation on hurricanes, we want to now place some emphasis on the amazing hurricane recovery efforts that are taking place right here in our own backyard. New Providence Community Church has recently taken on evacuees more or less from the southern islands right here in the Bahamas. And we want to take this opportunity to speak with pastor of New Providence Community Church, Matthew Sweeting, so that he can tell us all about the efforts over there. Welcome, Matthew. Hi, ladies. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good to see you. We're huggers around here. <laughs> So, Matthew, and yes, he told us that it was okay that we can call him that. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the efforts that have been going on at the New Providence Community uh, Church, because I understand it has gone from an effort that began with just initially an effort of three days into now seven and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, every hurricane is different, but with Hurricane Armor, we typically have a three-day cycle for most hurricanes because we are hosting people from New Providence. But when we got the call from NEMA to actually host people from the Southern Islands, we went from three to seven and then ultimately 10 days. Wow. And so um, this was a game changer for us because yeah. we've been doing this for about 10 years as a shelter, but we uh, had a steep learning curve mm -hmm. and um, it's really something just to kind of learn really real time. Right. And um, it's been an amazing opportunity for us. I think we are more prepared for future storms to come. And this mm -hmm. is the first time you've had evacuees at the center for this yeah. length of time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I don't I don't remember in my lifetime. I've been asking a lot of people, including our parents, had this ever happened before in the Bahamas mm -hmm. where evacuees have had to come. And so we just had to kind of get ready. Um, typically, we open our shelter one day before the storm. Everyone comes in the night before. Right. But this time it was three days before Hurricane Irma came. And so mm -hmm. by day one, we had to hit the go button. So there's an initial sense of disorientation for everyone because everyone's afraid, everyone's anxious. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do things to try to help people with their mood. We bring in DJs, we mm, play okay. music throughout the storm, okay. we put movies on the big screen so people can actually be Tell entertained. Us about the Willy Wonka room. I heard about this. Yeah. I keep hearing about the Willy Wonka room. I'm actually not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's a rumor. Oh, it's, okay. probably, it's probably an ur urban, <laughs> course, urban legend. So I, I just want to actually deal with that myth right now. But we do actually have rooms where we do PlayStation, Xbox for the kids. Uh -huh. And okay. we try to entertain them relative to their interests. Um, and um, we even ask the guys from the Defense Force, because the agencies have to sleep in the building with us. Oh. They're like, what do you guys want to watch? And right away, they're like, we want to watch HBO. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> so we spoil, we spoil oh, yeah. our evacuees and we spoil our agencies as well. Yeah. But oh, you go from shock to, usually by the second or third day, they're starting to settle in. Mm -hmm. And whatever they ask for, just give it to them. Don't argue. Right. They can stay up as late as they want. If they right. want to watch TV to the wee hours of the morning, mm. we're not there to micromanage their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we had mothers. We ended up having almost 80 children in the building. And oh, so wow. mothers were nervous about their kids initially, but we reached out to the public, asked for formula, asked for pampers, pack and plays. The elderly people got wheelchairs. Yeah. And so anything they asked for that they couldn't bring with them, yeah. Once you could give that to them, the tone would change. Right. So just to wrap up yeah. really quickly, tell us about this corporate support or any support mm -hmm. that you had. How was, what was the reception like when it came to, you know, NPCC will be a place for these Southern Islanders to go to? Mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest surprise of all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like I mentioned earlier, we prepare for every storm in the last 10 years for three days. There's a three day cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get in the building, wait out the storm, and wait until the government says it's an all clear. But by day three, we ran out of food. Wow. And we were running out of everything. And so even though we partnered with NEMA, the Red Cross, Head Knowles, mm -hmm. you name it, Hands for Hunger is in the building with us. Yes. We had all this food stocked up to give yeah. away. 
But by day three, because we were running low, we started putting the news out on social media. And what really surprised us is that people in this country just want to give. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yes. know, I keep finding good people everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I know everyone gets very cynical about our country because there's a lot of need out there. Mm -hmm. But I find if you can just convince people that what they give is going to be used yeah. for what you asked for, yes. you, can, you can flip that situation in a very real way. Yeah. Yeah. And we ended up, I would say, partnering when the dust settled with almost 50 agencies around New wow. Province. Nice. You know. Well, they say that in a crisis, that's the one thing that brings yeah, everyone together. Together, really. Really. Well, you're either going to get much better or it's going to get much worse. Yeah. And I yeah. think you have to lead by example. Yes. Mm -hmm. So our staff sleeps in the building with everybody. Okay. Great. And so it just goes from there. Thank you so much yes. for coming on the show. Yes. We are extremely grateful. Hurricane Irma, like you said, has been a sensation over the last couple of weeks. So we thank you and we thank NPCC for really um, yes. doing its part. It's great to be here with y'all. Thanks <laughs> yes. for what you guys so are doing. So we will well, be so. right Bye. back after this. Cheers. Welcome back to The Stew. Up next, we have an amazing guest in studio for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Naiji Dunn. Yay! <laughs> Come on out. Come, Come on out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Welcome, welcome. And you've got this Georgie bundle. Yes. yes. Take them bag. Bag and gifts. Oh, oh nice. Right. Nice. Yeah. All right. But we can get to that later. Yeah. First, yeah. we want to talk about you, Mr. Naji Dunn, and how you are doing big things, amazing things. You've got the hottest song that's on radio oh, yeah. right now. It's called Murda. Right. But for anyone that doesn't know that might hear that title and think, okay, why is he singing a song about Murda? Let's explain to our guest. What it, what the true message and meaning is behind it? It's it's actually funny you said that because I I post um, on Facebook, um, please request my new song Murder, and someone right underneath it they was like, um, isn't enough of that going on already? Yeah. So yeah. whatever. But um, the song basically stopping it, it's talking about um, speaking up against violence, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's also a part of a bigger thing that we do called Ease Up. It's an Ease Up campaign, yeah. and um, just basically telling you, listen, y'all just ease up, y'all take your time, and let's 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 spread love, mm -hmm. let's spread peace instead of being so frustrated all the time, is and instead of being so angry with, with, with your neighbor or your friend or anybody that that you encounter, people that you encounter. Um, and we're just trying to bring the love back. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's talk about That's you as an artist. Right. Um, you've been in the game for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Since you were nine years old. Since I was nine years yeah. old. So tell us about that process and what uh, got you here today. Well, um, um, a lot of people don't know when I was born, um, I was born on the sixth month and my esophagus wasn't connected so like I, I couldn't breathe and I had like 11 surgeries when I was a kid and I would always hear my mother tell me that, you know, God, God has a bigger plan for you, yeah, for a reason and stuff like that and then I always wanted to do music. So when I started doing music, I, I I thought to myself, I say, listen, I could I could rap, you know, like I really I really could rap, mm -hmm. and I I think I want to do this for real, and then another thought came to me, like if I do this, I got to do this for God because yeah. at the end of the day, it's Him who gave me the second chance, Absolutely. and and then on top of that, it's like I'm using the same thing that they said I would never have. Yeah. They said I would never wow. have a voice. They <laughs> wow. said I would never be able to perform on stages and. Uh, for long periods of time and stuff like that, and I'm on stages long periods of time. I'm rapping and I'm doing what I gotta do. So it's like, you know what? I can't never forget where I've came from. Tell me, how do you find a balance in between authenticity and your originality? Um, I my my music, my music too. It it, it comes from a real place. Like 
I like to speak on things that I've been through. Like yeah. I've the things that I've seen. I don't I don't I don't believe in telling someone else's story. Indeed. I like to tell my story. Like is life happens every day. A lot of you have a story, she has a Absolutely. story, she has a story. Yeah. Um I, I, I believe that everybody can use their story to uplift somebody. Indeed. And so that's what I try to do. I always try to put that in my music and when I put that in my music, it, it becomes relatable to the, the younger generation, yeah. or my generation, right. or the generation before me. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, tell me about <laughs> After the Storm. Okay. <laughs> yes, and let's talk about After, after the, the Storm. storm <laughs> because you know, we have <laughs> so many storms right now. <laughs> we want to think after this is all done. Oh, man. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful song. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Indeed. How, how congratulations did congratulations on that. Place? Yes. Okay, um, we know we had Hurricane Matthew. Yeah. And I just was speaking to someone, but it, like, it's crazy because... Um, we 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 um bl lyrically blessed. He had yes. he had damages done to his house. Wow. So I'm like, yo, um, I mean, I don't have my, my house don't have no electricity, but my mom's got a uh, generator. Yeah. So <laughs> let's go. So I'm like, oh, two of us go in. Right. So we brought his his wife and his two kids, and nice. all of us went to um, my mother's house. Oh. When we got there, they had generator. We just chilling and stuff like that, and um. I think it was it was like the morning after the storm. Mm -hmm. We were we were in the kitchen, and he was making tea, and he just keep on humming this, humming them. Um, we'll be stronger, we'll be better after the storm. And I say, yo, that's that's nice, yeah. or whatever. And me and him is talking. So if anybody know my daddy, <laughs> my daddy will yeah. not <laughs> let things slide. Like you only can say this nice and this sound good, yeah. and yeah. not do it. Yeah. <laughs> so he busts up in the kitchen like. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? But I said, that's a little something. Oh, no, y'all got to record that. Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yo, like, people currently, you know, and, like, Matthew really taking a lot out of us right now. Yeah. Right? So he said, I don't care. I don't care. We have generated. Y'all can come record it right here yeah. and make it happen and this and that. So we call Zoltan. When we call Zoltan Johnson, Zoltan was like, yeah, my place down too. I ain't even home. Like, my place get hit hard. We, we out by the wife's parents. So I said, yo, um, I just bring everything. Right. Just bring everything. Right. And we was in um, we was in the TV room recording the song. Oh, good nice. stuff. You know what? I absolutely love that story because it shows how we're able to turn sometimes a little bit of a negative experience yes, into yes. something incredibly amazing and yeah. positive. It's a relevant journey and, and, and stories yeah. to tell. Right. But you know what? We've got to go to a break. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, guess what? We will have the opportunity to see this fabulous young man perform this hot song that everybody is singing right now, Murder. So don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back with this too after this. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Najee Dunn. Yeah. It's a lot of violence going on. It's a lot of things going on, but the message still stands, you know? You gotta ease up. That's what it is, it's all about ease up. Yeah, I say, just ease up. Let go. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Every time I look around, all I see is murder. Men dead, mothers crying at funeral service. All these bodies dropping, starting to make me nervous. Man, gotta be careful, cause these demons lurking. Yeah, you can lose your life to the street life. I done seen homies lose their life at the street light. From Iraq to Chirac to where we living at. Why they take a life away if they can't give it back? When it's white on black murder, they hold a picket signs. If it's black on black murder, he getting out of lies. Look, there's something I never understand. Rest in peace, Trayvon Martin and Sandra Bland. But what about the ones we ain't marched for? Bullets in his body left him dead on the park floor. Yeah, man, I'm just praying that you learn life. All I see is blood rolling down the turnpike. Murder, I'm saying murder, I'm saying murder. Look, from Iraq to Chirac to where we live in that murder. Come on, murder. Friends, 
in the streets. I see them on t-shirts. Didn't understand in the streets. They can get hurt. Walk around with a face mug all hard. Tell them boys lay them down in the concrete garden. All the silly stuff, all these wars be starting. Fatherless sons growing up. Hearts hard, man. Gotta show them love. That's where it all starts. Where they won't let a pastor tell let God in. AK, Ruga, Llama, Burner. Hit you with guns, man. You ain't never heard her. Don't step in out their face, you could get murder. Bad boy not care, cause him got no concern for innocent people. Wrong place standing by. Just walk in the store, dog. You can catch a drive by. Tuesday smoking on the block, getting high. Young man so lost and they making they mama cry. Gangsta for light, yeah. That's all I am say. In and out of jail, dog. That won't even set them straight. Need to come together, resonate, and start to pray. Christ save us so we can show them the way murder I'm saying murder murder look for my rat the shot rat the way we live in that murder I'm saying murder yeah I'm saying murder look for my rat the shot rat the way we live in that so where we live in that live in that Yo, where we living at? Living at? Yeah, where we living at? From Iraq to Chirac, to where we living at? Living at? Just ease up, murder up. Just ease up, say murder up. Look, from Iraq to Chirac, to where we living at? Murder up. Just ease up, murder up. Yeah, murder up. Yeah, to where we living at? Look, to where we living at? Yeah, yeah. Where we living at? Look, to where we living at? I rat the shot rat, to where we living not ease up. Okay, walk on. Yeah. Najee, awesome. that, was that was incredible. Yes. Thank you so much to Najee Dunn. Amazing performance. And thank you as well to Matthew Sweeting from NPCC. Yep. This is The Stew, season premiere. We can't wait to see you again next in our next week. episode. And thank you, Fern, for thank being you. here. It's a pleasure. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah.